Hey, welcome everyone. In this video today, we will build lead lines around chords that we use all the time. Using double stops, hammer-ons, and pull-offs is a great way to create melody around those chords. I will really slow this down, call out the fret numbers for structure, but technique is so important in this. Really pay attention to how I'm playing the notes. Grab your guitar and let's get into it. Today we aren't going to get bogged down with theory. We're just going to look at what we can play around the chord shapes. A. E, F sharp minor, D. Those are mostly the chord shapes I'm using. I'm going to talk to you about some different ones as we work our way up the neck. So we can either create a, a simple groove like I did in that little intro jam. Just using the root note with a little bouncy groove and striking the chord. Or we can keep it more open without having a groove there, just playing the chords. So if we first just look at the A chord, just take your pinky off of there and, and hammer on to the seventh fret of the G string and then pull off with a strike. And then strike the chord again. Some of you that can play this chord real well will, might not have a problem with this, but just work at having, make sure all these, these notes ring out well. Another way to create some movement, take your third finger from the seventh fret and slide up to the ninth fret on the A string, and then hit the A note, seventh fret of the D string. kind of go back and forth there. This is a great way you can just really milk out this little A note here <clears throat> in the seventh fret of the D string. A note and then strike it and pull off back to the A and but do this use this little blue note. So you hit the note, slide up a half step, pull back down to, to nine, and then go back to the seven where the A note is. This is a great sounding lick. I use this all the time. This little box is really powerful in that major sound. You can also, from seven to nine, you can slide up on the E string with your third finger also. Just a piece of the major pentatonic there, but it's always there in that major chord. double stop there, always barring in the seventh fret of the A and D strings. Because it's part of the A chord there. Going to the E chord, you can actually take all those same moves. We'll, I'll show you a few other ones, but this is so good to know. just using your third finger, sliding up from two to four, hitting the E note in the second fret here of the D string. There's your home bass, E note. And that same move. Four and sliding up to five. And then pulling back down. But if you do it with a little speed, it sounds real bluesy. With 
with your pinky here, you can hammer on also with the E chord. It's a great sound. And I also, in the intro, just did a, a little bluesy minor sound and then back to major. So if we take the third fret of the B string and slide up to five, but ringing the E note with it. Open the E. Back down. Four. Pulling back down to two. Then one, and back to home base here in the second fret of the, of the D string. This sounds really good. You can briefly get away with that minor sound in this. It sounds, sounds great. Now the F sharp minor, barring here, second fret. Hammering on and pulling off with double stops is a great way to use this chord. So if we just take, in the second fret here, the A and D strings and hammer on, so we're just barring the two strings and hammering on to four. Same thing with the second fret of the D and G strings, barring those two notes, and then hammering on, but letting this bottom note ring, this A note, but hammering on to four. Great thing to practice. It's not a easy, if you're not used to this, it's, it's not an easy thing to do. But try to keep the chord intact. Same thing, bar the G and B strings in the second fret and hammer on to four on the G string here. Great way to practice this is to run down the three string sets. Once you get that down, you can really go back and forth. Those licks sound great over any minor chord like this. But looking at the D, always this major move here. You can do this over any major chord. any chord. And I'll show you on the E chord in a few seconds here, but we'll look at this D really just barring the seventh fret. A little piece of that chord is what I'm really focusing on. So after you strike the chord, So you're sliding from 7 to 9 on the A string and hitting that little piece of the chord there. Those are the things to practice. And using that little bar shape there, sliding up to a piece of the D chord here. So 11 to 10 but you can slide it a whole step up. And again, these are movable on the A chord and the E chord in this, in this progression very easily. So we can also bar this little piece here of the D, 10th fret, you bar the B and E strings and hammer on to 12. So 10, Hammer on 12, but letting this ring, a nice double stop hammer on. Then we would be going back to A. So this is just a piece of the A chord ringing the A string, 11, 9, and 10, with the root note there. Hey, if this lesson is helpful, hit that like button. I really do appreciate it. 
Once you know what to play over each chord, you then connect those ideas together. You can create ideas that run up and down the fretboard. This is a very confident way to play because you're playing the chord, playing some phrases that connect the chord, and you have movement. So it gives you a lot of confidence. We touched on this earlier, but this little major move, this will stay with you forever if you get this down. This bar chord here, the A, D, in this progression, you can always do this little move here. which is just sliding up from two to four here, and then hitting the A chord. Here, still looking at this little bar in the, the seventh fret here, but hammering on from seven to nine with that, with that little chord ringing. E, This is a great thing to do. Kind of familiar phrase, but that is how it's done. You, you create movement to the chord, not to strike a chord. And then you can hit the next little set of double stops like we did before. one more time striking the chord from from the bar of the ninth fret got the three strings here D G and B strings hammering on from 9 to 11 then you're hitting that little piece of the chord here this is so powerful if you get anything from this lesson take away this have the open string with the E, open string with the A. Also connecting that is this little piece of the A chord. So you're here in the second fret, slide up to six on the G string, five on the B string. This little, this little shape here, you can do that on all three chords also. So on the D, you're sliding up to 11 and 10. E, sliding up to 13 and 12. But that is a piece of the chord. It sounds bluesy. It sounds really nice. three chords is that's that's what's so fun about this A little vibrato this is a fun way to play the guitar I hope you got something from the lesson take away some of these ideas even if they might be above your 
your skill level at this time, try to do this because this will stay with you forever because it's, it, it ha gives you movement to the chords and actually movement when you're playing lead lines. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. See you on the next one.